Bueno, eh, con el antecedente de que somos los pueblos originarios de donde realmente nace la cultura eh, de, todas las, eh, de todos los países, entonces creo que lo importante de esto es que mientras existan los pueblos indígenas seguirá viva la raíz precisamente de las naciones. Some people call it love, some people call it the spirit. If you're Star Wars, they call it the force. There is something that connects us with each other. It's not whether we, um, whether we recognize it, it's, it's waking up to the reality that we are in community with each other. And, and that's, I, I think that's our goal in working here and that's what I see when I come here is I see how much we're connected with each other, mental, physical, emotional, spiritual. So my name is Paul Lassert and I'm from uh, Victoria, British Columbia, Canada. My original territory that I come from is the Yinkak Dene territory in Northern Canada. How I think about it is uh, our word for ourselves is Yinkak Dene. So we are the land that we come from and then everything that makes up our our physical self comes from our territories. Uh, I, 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 first I want to just reframe the notion of the doctrine of discovery and it's this international principle of terra nullis, empty land or land that was never subjected to the jurisdiction of a particular people which is really a loose way of saying hey I'm gonna show up and then just own all of this magically own everything that I see and everything that I can't see and so that practice still happens today. So how do we reconcile that? How do we, how do we change that? And I think the first step uh, in reconciliation is understanding the true history of our countries. Soy Olga Montúfar, vengo de México. Así es, de la comunidad de Acasochitlán en el estado de Hidalgo. Uh, mi nombre es uh, Felipe Flores Ponce. Yo vengo de Puno, Perú. Y está ubicado Puno en Sunandina, frontera con Bolivia. Claro, nosotros somos, uh, mi persona es indígena, de nacimiento. La comunidad es la comunidad aymara. Ya, bueno, mi nombre es Cecilio Ticonavilca, es, eh, vengo de Perú, de provincia de Puno, está en, a 3.800 no, sobre el nivel del mar. Um, uh, don't, uh, uh, don't Cecilio y Felipe are a team, a Peru team, are the Peru team. And Don Cecilio is blind, and Don Felipe has his foot disability. Don Cecilio push Don Felipe everywhere, and Don Felipe guides him where he has to go. <laughs> so they are uh, together always. Bueno, eh, nosotros eh, somos unos defensores de los derechos de las personas indígenas con discapacidad. Eh, creemos que dignificar a la persona indígena con discapacidad es reconocerla y hacerla visible. Pero sabemos también que la comunidad eh, de pueblos indígenas se hermana justamente con las causas y principalmente como esta. Que lo que han aprendido, lo que han conocido, lo que han tenido contactos con diferentes poblaciones eh, mundo indígena, compartir con los demás. Sería muy importante para que puedan socializar los demás o si no con las autoridades del lugar. ¿no? Vamos a unirnos este, intensamente para defender esta causa.
My name is Jocelyn Hongchen. My indigenous name is Jinumu. That means a uh, greedy eater in English. <laughs> and uh, well, I'm from the Pinuyumayan peoples in Taiwan. This occasion is really meaningful personally for me because this is the place for me to start looking at myself as an indigenous person. A journalist asked me, how can I tell people that I'm indigenous? And that really got me because I was really thinking back and really thinking hard that on what stand I can tell people I'm indigenous out loud without any doubt, without any question to myself. Because of that, I really went back to my community, to my family, to go back to the history of my family and the community and all these things. Go back, just go back to my root and look and grow from that. Well, the very important lesson I found in the past few from the past few years is that we have to know who we are before we can stand in front of people and tell them what we need, what's our request, and then what we can offer. We have to go back to our indigenous origin to know our history of our own peoples, our ancestors, and our own family. Then we have the solid ground to stand up in front of others. We just bring more spirit and more respect and more feelings for each other, more understanding to each other, to this world, more positive energy and also more color. I'm back to the healing, healing uh, process. Well, for my community, we talk to our ancestors and ask for their support and also ask for their comfort. That is really when we are dealing with uh, the harm, the hurt from the colonization or from assimilation from the other cultures. This is an important thing to know that the ancestors are with us. We are not alone in this healing process. For an indigenous person nowadays, it's not just only about the culture, the indigenous culture and tradition, with all the technology and all the modern knowledge we have. In this generation, we are combining these two words, or we are connecting these two words to reach a more peaceful, a more balanced future. Everybody should be proud of who they are. But before we can be proud of who we are, we have to know who we are first, because the more I know about myself, the more confident I feel, and the more it will become clear about what I want as an individual or as to my people. And also it will be clear that what my capacity to reach what whatever I want, we want to do, but uh, it's just good to go back to yourself and find out who you are yourself, your people, your, it's not only, it's not only to indigenous peoples, also to non-indigenous peoples, like who they are. Recordando a mi pueblito 
Canto con el alma, canto yo, recordando mi pueblito con el alma, canto yo.